Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Crafty Beer Reviews. Today I will be reviewing a very special beer. This right here is Fathead's Hop Juju. As you guys probably know, this won the gold medal at GABF last year, beating out 148 other Imperial IPAs, including Three Floyd's Permanent Funeral, which is a crazy awesome beer. But yeah, I wanted to be able to review this for you guys as fresh as possible and this is definitely the freshest that you can get it bar none it was pre-released today at the production brewery and tap house and lucky for me I only live five minutes away from there so I went down and got it and this won't even hit stores in Ohio for another full week so got it today reviewing it today really really looking forward to this one so excited to finally have this. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out the aroma. Oh my god, wow. Oh my god, that is so intense. You get huge tropical fruit notes. It's piney, it's resinous. Oh my god. There's mango, there's peach, there's papaya, there's pineapple, there's tangerine, there's orange peel, there's grapefruit, there's a nice pininess. Oh my god. I mean, just every single type of fruit that you can think of, it smells like it's in this beer. It's super juicy, very, very resinous smelling. Wow, this smells so damn good. My mouth's already watering, so you know what, guys? Let's go ahead and take our first sip. Wow. Oh my god. Wow. That is so intense. Right off the bat, you're just assaulted with all these tropical fruit notes. Big orange, grapefruit, there's a tangerine type of note, obvious mango, papaya, pineapple. It's very sweet, very juicy. Mmm. Nice bit of pine right around mid palate. It's very, very kind of this resiny, piney taste. There's a slight dank characteristic in the background. Not much, but it's definitely in there. But wow, this is just a, an all out hop assault on your palate. This stuff is crazy. It's got a fuller, the fuller side of medium for a body. It has a very kind of creamy coating type of mouthfeel. It's got a decent level of bitterness. I mean, it's, it's definitely bitter. Cl cleanses your palate. I mean, it really just dries it out on the back end. But, oh my god. If you like hops, you have to, have to, have to try this beer. And just, it covers the gamut of what hops can do. You have the tropical fruit notes. You have the citrusy notes. You have the resinous notes. You have slightly dank and piney notes. I mean, it just... It's all in here, like literally everything that you can think of that you want in an Imperial IPA is in here. The ABV, very, very, very well hidden. 9% can't taste it, can't smell it. There's a slight warming as it goes down, but not much at all. Crazy. And this could get you into some trouble, no doubt about it. This is just an awesome beer, and I am so happy that Fatheads decided to release this. When I went there today, people were already coming out with cases. I mean, well, you know, the case limit, but it's just, it's crazy. People are already going nuts for it, and I think that this is going to be a beer from Ohio that people are definitely going to want to get their hands on. As far as the rating goes, guys, I don't do it often, but I just can't think of anything to knock this beer for whatsoever. So, I'm actually going... With the full 10 out of 10 for this one, I have not given a perfect rating in a very, very long time. But the fact of the matter is, it's all hops, pretty much no malt, can't taste the alcohol, it's super easy to drink, extremely flavorful. I mean, what else do you want from an Imperial IPA? This stuff lives up to the hype around it, honestly. And I'm not one to agree with hype typically, but this beer is phenomenal. So if you can get your hands on it, I highly suggest it. Alright guys, so for my musical recommendation, I want you to check out a group by the name of Red Fang and their 2009 self-titled record. They are a 
stoner rock slash metal group. Very in your face. Very fun. If you like metal, if you like hard rock, you'll love that group. Trust me, it goes along perfect with his beer before because they are both very intense. All right, guys, that does it for this beer review. And remember, I hope whatever you're doing involves good craft beer. See ya.